All right, well, listen, I got a demo for you first, right? We've all had this kind of frustrating parking situation where you're desperately looking for a space and you find something like this, not quite enough to park your car. Then you go a little farther and you realize that this car hasn't parked close enough to the red zone or you might have gotten a parking space. Well, this man here at Angelino Heights, well, he decided to design, print, and post his own parking sign. At first glance, you might think this is an official sign by the city of Los Angeles. It's kind of cool. But notice instead of no, there's a yo in the black square with a plea for drivers to maximize parking. We have a serious problem with parking for the people who live here. And then there's all these people coming to visit and they, they're careless. Especially when there's a game on with the Dodgers Stadium, there's always no parking. I think it's just saying, hey, everybody, let's be cautious. Derek Boonstra is the man behind the signs. They put them up just to see what would happen. He put up the first one three weeks ago, hoping drivers would park closer to the red zone and closer together so as not to leave unusable space. Did the signs work? There's one curb that usually holds four, four cars that now sometimes holds five. He wouldn't talk to us on camera, but agreed to a phone interview. Here's why. It'll be interesting to see if this wave of uh, media kind of pokes the bear a little bit and gets them taken down or people have the attention that has happened over the last couple of days have you know people have suggested that maybe I'll get fined for it or something. Parking enforcement drove by all four posted signs and the officer only noticed when I pointed it out. See it? Yo, I don't know what that Mac is. But there's nothing enforceable about it right? No, we cannot enforce that because we are not sure if it is. It's a, it's a, it's a. We tried to find out what Boonstra City Councilman Mitch O'Farrell thinks about the rogue signs, but calls went unanswered. Neighbors we talked to like them. Oh, it's it's uh, part of being a good citizen, I think, when parking, right? It's making sure there's not like 20 inches on the front of the car or whatever it might be. Natasha Noor would go a step further. Me and my neighbors have talked about advocating for getting diagonal parking put in because then you can take up get way more spots. Boonstra likes that idea too, but has no plans to take his parking activism to paint parking lines on the street. I find it kind of like amusing and I'm probably, I feel like I've probably contributed what I'm going to contribute. Well, we saw a sign that suggests that the fate of this sign, probably not very good. The Department of Transportation had somebody drive around the neighborhood looking for placing them, photographing them. I think that's a sign. Those signs will be down soon. Reporting live in Angelino Heights, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.